Hi guys, welcome back to Foss Fishing. We are out yet again and uh, this time the weather is just mint. It's a stunner of a day. I couldn't ask for more. This is what makes uh, yeah, life as a fisherman worthwhile. A day like this, finally. It's uh, 2nd of Mars, so um, March. So we're hauling the langoustine pots and also the langoustine string. And uh, we'll see if we catch something. I'm heading in there now. I just finished setting the nets. Uh, and this time I've taken my precautions and I've set them uh, on spots where they are... Uh, uh, where there's not much kelp and stuff. Sand bottom is what I uh, aim for today. And also uh, relatively shallow. I set them at about 10 to 15 meters and uh, there's not a lot of drag and nothing uh, on the ocean today and uh, not tomorrow either. It's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow as well. So uh, fingers crossed the nets will deliver me something other than uh, headaches and uh, extra work. But yeah, we're heading in to hold the pots. Let's see if we caught something. Okay guys, so we're at the langoustine string and uh, it's a string of six pots and they are fairly heavy to haul. So hand hauling that kind of uh, <laughs> mass through the, through the water mass is quite a task. So what I do is I put the rope and tighten it around the, uh, I don't know what it's called in English, on the back of the boat and I, I use the motor to uh, pull them up. I need to use the motor because they are at 50 meters and uh, yeah. <laughs> it just makes it all so much easier. This will help me with the first like 25 meters or something and then uh, the rest yeah, I'll, I'll do by hand. So this will lift the pots up and drag them through the water. And uh, the plan is at least that uh, my job gets easier. I do use a bit of gas, but I think it's worth it. And then, yeah, it's time to do some work. There they are. And there's the first one. Absolutely nothing. Huh. Well, there's a reason I... <laughs> you 
can't say I didn't tell you so. But uh, yeah, they do not fish very well. Whoops. And also it's very much about where you put them. So I might, uh, depending on what I catch, I might throw them out somewhere else. Nothing here as well. There are a few bylaws when fishing for, well, anything actually, but uh, especially uh, with uh, the langoustine parts, the strings and stuff. You have to mark every part uh, and you have to have a, a rotting thread on every part. And uh, what more? Yeah, of course, the, the floats have to be properly marked as well. Nothing. What's this then? Oh. I was suddenly very heavy, considering there's just three pots left. I might have snagged onto something down here. Just have to see. Oh, a langoustine, woohoo! <laughs> That's a nice one. One langoustine there. Ah, one more. And then let's see, there might be a little lang in the last one. Nothing, just absolutely nothing. Okay, so yeah, two langoustines, six parts, and a bit of sweat. 
uh, could have been better. So uh, I move in the past again. Hopefully, I'll catch something better next time. But uh, we're off to haul the uh, the deep sea pots, and uh, well, usually they they do catch a bit better than the other than these. So uh, yeah, see you over there after I uh, rebait and reset this one. One, oh, on a small card, small, small card. Is that it? One langoustine. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jeez. It'll be perfectly fine. Too small to keep. Let's see. Yep. That's a lively one. And then uh, one langoustine. Nice one, nice one as well. Makes the total. Three, for now. Yep. Okay, that's uh, a bit disappointing. I was hoping for a bit more, but uh, I always do, don't I? So. But yeah, I'll bait this one up. Throw it back in, cross my fingers and hope for the best for the next time. A couple of langoustines I see. Oh, and that's it. That's a nice one. That is a perfect one. Oh man. But all in all, uh, uh, taking into consideration how long they've been soaking, I would have hoped for uh, there's a small squat lobster in here as well. Ah, oh, that is in. Ah, oh, that's not a squat lobster. That is. Uh, oh, I don't know the uh, name of this in English. In Norwegian, it's pintekabbe. And uh, yeah, I guess it looks a bit like a, uh, like a spider crab sort of thing, but uh, they don't grow as big. Many people mistake them for a uh, troll crab, but it's actually not. It's a uh, pinta crab. They don't really get much bigger than this. Oh, they do, they do, but... Uh, you know, they're not that common even, so... Nice little guy. Let's see if he can get down to the bottom safely. I'll just keep him in the pot so the gulls and the fish don't uh, 
Edom on uh, his way down. He's so small, he'll probably just walk straight out of the net. just bones, it's just bones, look at this, just you know there's been those uh, eels, scavenger eels, I don't know the name of them, uh, at the bottom eating through the bait, and the bait don't last long if you uh, come across a bunch of those, they will eat uh, a fish to the bone in a matter of an hour or something. But also, I told you this before, but this is my my favorite bait for langoustine, cheap stuff. But uh, it's worth it. Usually, uh, last time I set the pots, I did not have any uh, of those shrimps. So uh, I baited it only with fish. So that is probably one of the reasons why the catches are so bad as well. I guess, I hope, next haul will be better. Won't leave them out for so long either next time. Might just leave them out for a uh, yeah a couple of days. Usually does the trick. Usually does the trick. So we have one more. It was supposed to be out there, but I think it's been moved by uh, bad weather and stuff. Like uh, quite a bit. I think it's been moved like 500 meters or something. So uh, yeah, I'll just reset this one. Absolutely nothing. Not a single thing in here. I'm blaming the bait. You saw the last one, that was a, a crab. This, however, this is a the squat lobster, small one. Tiny little thing. with a tiny little tail. I'll do the same with this as the last one. I'll let it go through the pot. So I'm just gonna put the, the langoustines in, uh, in the store pot and then I'm heading back home and I'll be out again tomorrow to check on the nets. Five uh, langoustine I caught. It's not much of a catch, but uh, it is better than nothing, huh? Absolutely. Okay, so I see you guys uh, tomorrow or rather in a couple of seconds. Okay guys, so we're holding the nets. Or oh, the first one. We're holding the first one. So, uh, yeah, let's just see. Hopefully it won't be like only kelp.
Ah, oh, such, such beautiful clean nets, but ah, uh, yeah, hopefully there's something eatable in here. But it's almost as, you know, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just thankful that there is not only a kelp here. There's something coming up here. Let's see. What is this? Something small, I think. Oh no, that is a beautiful card. Oh man, look at this. Nice. And it's still alive. So I'm gonna see if I can get that out fairly quick. Oh, that was really nice. Finally, a decent catch. Decent catch. I mean, 50 meters of net. There should be something. Ah, oh, there's something uh, coming. What is this then? A flounder. Yeah, a flounder and. And a crab, of course, a crab. Why? Why would you stay out of the net? That'll be fairly easy to get out. Take that afterwards. What's this then? Kelp? Seaweed. And <sighs> this is an old uh, hook sort of for uh, grabbing fish on the way up, big fish. Uh, that's about it, I guess. Looks like the end of the line. Okay, I'm happy just not having to spend two, three hours cleaning him out. Now the biggest problem is getting the fish out and, you know, that's good work, that's happy work. This is not <laughs> too much clearing here, I need to move away a bit.
that is a nice car, finally something that I'm actually fishing for for once. Oh, and this crap. It is. Yeah, oh man, really happy with that one. Nice one, finally, okay, that'll be good eating. Oh, the crab isn't letting go. for the cat. That was it, wasn't it? Was there anything more? No. Oh, come on. There we go. go. Yeah, nice one, nice one. Should we measure the card? Weigh him, weigh it. Two point two, yeah, two point two. Huh? I would have thought it weighed more, of course. But that, I guess, that's just how I'm built. Two point two kilos. That's a nice card.
man, guys. I realized last night that uh, yeah, I didn't uh, turn on the camera for the last uh, for the last net, and so uh, this this is what I got. You wouldn't believe it. I was pulling up crabs like there was no tomorrow. Look at this. I guess there's about 30, 40 crabs here and I still have a lot left. Look at this stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that I can see. Probably nine or ten in here. And so, yeah, once again, I got my work cut out for me. And, uh, I mean, that first net, that was beautiful, you know. <laughs> I only caught one cod, but uh, there wasn't much uh, shit in them. This one, however, ah, oh, man. So, uh, I've been spending the last three hours cleaning it out you know one thing is seaweed and kelp and stuff uh, getting it out isn't you know that difficult but uh crabs that's a different story so uh, i'll finish off the last 15 and i'll fast forward this stuff oh <sighs> It's one thing when it, it comes up, it doesn't look too bad, but uh, this was yesterday and this is today. And uh, they have all been sitting in uh, one, you know, pile in the net box. And they're, they just dug, dug in, which makes it a bit more difficult but uh yeah i cleaned out a crab or two before in my life so i have a couple of techniques that i think works at least works for me and I don't like crushing the crabs some people tell me just crush them crush them and uh, you know shake them out but uh, I find it it uh, just brings on a different kind of problem because uh, the shells on the crabs it's when it gets crushed it's not very easy to uh, work with either, so uh, I like to keep the crabs intact while I uh, sort them out of the net nets. And these have been in the net now since yesterday, so they've been uh, out of water for uh, yeah, 24 hours and uh, well they're not they're not kicking but uh, they're not quite dead yet
So my technique for getting them out is, uh, well, it depends on the crab, sort of uh, the size. The small crabs are, of course, much easier to get out because uh, the shell gets through the masks. And so with the size of the masks that are required for fishing here in Norway, a lot of the crabs actually get through quite easy. So I don't know if you can see it, but uh, you know, there's one mask over the shell here. As soon as you get that over and the shell is, is without nets over it, you just start with the hind legs and get them out one by one should be a short this a short film short video with how to get crabs out One by one like this, and when you're done with the uh, the legs, getting the claw out shouldn't be a big problem. Unless, of course, it pulls this maneuver. See here again, the masks are so big that even this is a fairly, it's not a big crab, but it's well within minimum size for, uh, for keeping. I'm not gonna keep it, but uh, the net, net masks goes easily over and so uh, once again just start with the hind legs and whoo So one of the reasons I noticed why the, well, there was obviously a lot of crab there to begin with, but uh, there was uh, one place that had gotten tangled, probably fairly quick after I set the net and then uh, all the crab came for the free feast. one explanation why this happened.
Last one. Oh. Okay. Look at this shit. I mean, come on. Oh man, it's in the nick of time as well. And then for the count, let's see here. One. Four. Jesus Christ. And also, this is uh, a place that has been half eaten. And this used to be, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, we call it a, it's a pigskate in Norwegian. The English word I am uh, unfamiliar with. But uh, it's full of uh, spikes on the top. Spike, 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 spike. Not very pleasant. But the, yeah, the crabs really liked it, huh? Okay. Well, it is what it is and it was what it was. Now I'm heading off to work. And uh, sorry for not showing you that uh, haul. But, uh, you know, shit happens. So. See you next time. Have a good weekend. <laughs>